Welcome to the University of Arizona Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry's Safety and Orientation video for General Chemistry. The Henry Koffler Building was designed specifically to house undergraduate teaching labs, classrooms, and support offices. The Teaching Support Office, or TSO, is located on the second or ground floor. They are normally open from 8 a.m. to approximately 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday. They are there to help you with a wide variety of administrative issues. If you need help outside of lab, you can arrange a session with your TA. The CBC website also lists private tutors for hire. The prep room that supports your labs employs five full-time laboratory coordinators and approximately 20 student assistants who help prepare and set up labs. They are there for you when labs run to help hand out equipment, refill chemicals, replace liquid and solid waste containers, and many other things. If they don't notice you at a window, please ask for assistance. If they are helping someone else, please be patient. It is very important that you come to lab every week. If you know in advance that you will miss a session, let your lab instructor, better known as your TA, know as soon as possible. If you miss a lab unexpectedly, email your TA as soon as possible. Refer to your course's lab policy document on D2L for further details. Let's take a look at one of the labs. Before you come to lab, make sure you read your lab guide and do all pre-lab assignments. As you enter, you will be in the classroom area. This is where you and your TA will discuss this week's lab. Pay close attention to your TA as important details concerning safety and procedures will be covered. You may have a covered drink in the classroom, but no food. But please, clean up after yourself. When you cross the yellow line into the laboratory area, there are many safety rules you will be required to follow to protect you and those around you. One of the most important rules is that you are properly dressed. Your required personal protective equipment includes long pants or clothing which completely covers your lower legs and shoes which cover your entire foot. No skin should show below your waist. Goggles, not safety glasses, a 100% cotton lab coat, and gloves should be kept in your locker. Although being dressed like this can seem uncomfortable, it greatly reduces the chance of any chemical exposure or injury to your eyes or skin. If your goggles get foggy, you can ask the prep room for anti-fog wipes. Please return to the classroom area to use them. You need to be protected at all times when in the lab. Along with your personal protective equipment, there are other safeguards in the lab. For example, the hoods where many of the chemicals you will be using are stored protect you from hazardous fumes and help contain dangerous spills. If you spill a chemical, immediately tell the prep room assistant and your TA. The proper way to handle a chemical spill depends upon the hazards associated with the chemical. If it is an acid, sprinkle the sodium bicarbonate in the acid hood all over the spill. Bases and organic chemicals should be absorbed using a spill pillow. Water-based solutions can be cleaned up using a paper towel. If you break a glass item, again, immediately tell your TA. Every lab has a brush and pan for cleaning up broken glass. Never use your hands to pick up broken glass. Tweezers can be used to remove glass from the sink. If you are cut or burned or injured in any way, notify your TA immediately. The prep room has first aid supplies. If you have minor skin contact with a chemical, say a small amount of acid on your hand, you may or may not feel burning, itching, or see redness. No matter what, immediately rinse with water to minimize damage to your skin. Never use chemicals such as sodium bicarbonate on a chemical burn as it can cause further damage. Only use water. As with any emergency, promptly inform your TA and the prep room staff. Rinsing with cold water is also the correct first aid for a thermal burn. If you get any chemical in your eyes, you need to rinse them immediately. To use the eye wash, push the lever towards the wall and hold the eyes open in the stream of water. To stop the flow, pull the lever towards you. It is recommended you rinse for 15 minutes. To operate the sink-mounted eye wash, squeeze the handle. 
If you ever get chemicals in your eyes or over a large portion of your skin, you may need assistance to use the eye wash or safety shower. There are two combination units in each lab, and it is important to know where they are. If it is necessary to use the shower, hold down on the handle. Remove contaminated clothing as soon as possible. To stop the flow of water, push up on the handle. It is important to stay in the shower for 15 minutes. In the event of an injury or burn, your prep room staff will assist you with further first aid, such as burn gel and bandages. After your injuries have been attended to and discussed, you may be asked to fill out a form to report the injury. There are also two fire extinguishers in each lab near the safety showers. Although a fire is a rare event, it can and does happen. Most lab fires are very small, contained, and can be easily put out. Only use the extinguisher if you have been properly trained in its use. If you do hear the fire alarm, unplug any equipment if possible, exit using the closest door, and evacuate the building using the nearest stairwell. Once you are clear of the building, make your way to the mall and find your TA. Learning to work with chemicals safely will reduce the possibility of any accidents. You will be working with a wide variety of chemicals which all have their own unique hazards. Check the labels or ask your TA to better understand each chemical's hazards. Chemicals in the hoods are segregated based on compatibility. Never remove a reagent bottle from a hood or a spill could become a major problem. When taking chemicals back to your bench, Use an appropriately sized container based on what you need. Whenever possible, choose a container with a lid. Label the container before taking it to the hood with the chemical name and concentration. When taking chemicals from a reagent bottle, always double check the label. Use a fresh transfer pipette and dispose of it in the jar in that hood to eliminate any possibility of chemical interactions. Always screw the cap back onto the bottle. Not doing so could cause an accident. When carrying chemicals back to your bench, be aware of those around you. Caution is your best friend in any laboratory. If you have chemicals left over, never return it to the original bottle. You will need to dispose of any excess according to the type of waste. If you are unsure of what to do with your waste, consult the Waste Stream Decision Flowchart posted on the Waste Hood Sash. If your waste contains glass of any kind, or if it is a micropipette tip, it should go in the special glass waste box located near the safety shower. These items can cut or puncture skin, so a specialized containment box is used. Please refrain from putting any transfer pipettes or paper here unless it contains glass. If you have a solid chemical, filter paper, transfer pipettes, heavily contaminated gloves or paper towels from cleaning up a spill, place it in the red can labeled solid chemical waste in the waste hood. If the can is full, please tell your prep room assistant. Paper and paper towels, as well as lightly contaminated gloves, may go in the regular trash can. Liquid chemicals should always be poured into the white liquid waste bucket. Make sure the lid is open before pouring. If your waste bucket is getting full, please tell your prep room assistant. The only thing that should go down the sink drain is the ice and salt from an ice bath. Listening to music, watching videos, texting, or talking on your phone are all strictly prohibited. You need to be able to hear instructions from your TA at all times. If you bring electronics into the lab, they could be ruined by chemicals. You should always use your laptop stand and never set your computer on the bench. Sitting on a lab bench or side bench is also prohibited since you never know what might have been left behind. Each lab in Koffler is shared by about 300 students every week. It is important that you help keep the lab neat and clean when using shared equipment such as scales, hot plates, ring stands, and any items you check out. On occasion, you may need special glassware or equipment that is not in your locker to perform your experiment. This is when you must fill out one of our loan cards, more commonly known as an orange slip. Please be sure to fill in your name, date, and section number along with the quantity and item. When you return it clean and intact, your prep room assistant will return your slip. 
Please use a damp paper towel or sponge to wipe down your bench area at the end of each lab period. Look around to make sure you have all your locker items put away. You have locked your drawer and haven't left any personal items behind. Working safely is important. Come prepared, follow the directions in your procedure, and listen to your TA. Remember, there are additional resources available to you, and there are plenty of people here to help. That ends our introduction to the Department of Chemistry lab program. So welcome and have a safe and happy semester.